It's a full moon, and you know what that means. We're photographing it, of course. Some of the most popular photos and prints are of the moon. And when we see these photos, we look in awe and wonder. But you know, you can do this too. Okay, so you wanna photograph the moon, but you're not sure how. Today, we'll talk about planning, location, gear, and the settings that you need to get that money shot of the moon you've always wanted. When embarking on your journey to the moon, the first thing you need to do is research. What phase do you want it in? Do you want it in quarter? Do you want it in half moon? Do you want it in full moon? I'll be shooting the full moon to demonstrate, but make sure you look up what day the moon is at at your desired phase. Choosing a location isn't necessarily just look up and shoot. It requires a little bit more planning. There are apps like PhotoPills that allow you to see where the moon will be at the time that you want to shoot. I know that there's a full moon tonight and it rises at 8.30. So I will check to see where the moon will be around that time and frame my composition. Okay, you've planned when and where to shoot. Now let's talk gear. I'll be using the Sony a7R IV with the 100 to 400 telephoto lens. I know, you may not have a lens like this, and don't be discouraged and turn off this video just yet. You can use something like a teleconverter to attach to your current lens to give you a two times magnification. And I'll also be using the 70 to 200 for a couple shots. But you can use a wide angle lens, or if your point and shoot has a super zoom, I encourage you to test it out. But if you are using a telephoto lens, you should use a sturdy tripod to hold the heavy lens. I'll be using the Gitzo Carbon Fiber. All right, enough talking. Let's rest up and get ready for our evening shoot. Okay, it's just about sunset and I have my camera set up with the 100 to 400 lens. I also have a Velo shutter remote to make sure there are no movements on the camera when taking the photo. If you don't have one, don't worry, just use a self timer on the camera. As always, your camera settings are a crucial part of taking a perfect photo. When photographing the moon, especially a full moon, we're actually pretty lucky because the moon is super bright. You can leave your ISO low to avoid noise. Some cameras may be fine in the 1000 range. Depending on your frame, your aperture should be a narrow or a higher number to make sure everything is in focus. Maybe a sweet spot between 10 to 16 to also not get rid of too much light in the frame. Remember the moon is a fast moving object, so your shutter speed shouldn't be too slow or else you won't get the sharpest results. Keep it at above a 1 25th of a second. You should also use the spot metering option on your camera to tell the camera to only expose for the moon, not the black space around it. Optional but useful are focus peaking to ensure the moon is in focus and bracketing your exposures. Bracketing will allow you to get different results with one photo. Last night was amazing, and photographing the moon was so cool. I love experimenting with night photography, and now when I see another person's photo, I now know that I can do that too. Tag us in all of your moon photos. And for a deeper dive on how to photograph the moon, check out the description for various articles. And let us know if you'd like to see more videos like these in the comments below. I'm Maria, and thanks for watching.